Hello. Welcome back to Tiny Tunes. Yep, it's another month with another project. Just bringing music into your life because, you know, it really is good for you. Makes us feel a lot better in so many ways. This month, we are going to take this and turn it into something that will look like this. I've done these with my science projects, but we haven't done it with Tiny Tunes to show exactly what this is and does. Do you know what this is? I'm sure you do. You got it. It is a rain stick. And the reason it's called a rain stick is if you listen and turn it gently upside down, it sounds like rain coming down. It's a beautiful, calming sound. Now this isn't an, it, it is an instrument, but it's not an interest, uh, instrument that I would want to really overdo playing with. What I mean is, there's a lot of times that I'll shake real fast my instrument, or I'll freeze, or I'll, you know, play it real hard. This one, I like to just keep it soft. That's the purpose of a rain stick. By now, you would have picked up your kits. And in your kit, you are going to find A paper that has what's included in your kit, uh, instructions, detailed instructions on how to put it together, and also if you look on the back you will see some rain stick fun facts. Learn a little bit about rain sticks and of course if you want more information come to your local library, okay? We've got stuff for you. So let me just give you a general overlook of what you're going to do to put this together. And then when you have the instructions, you'll kind of have an idea. So you're gonna start with your cardboard tube. Now when you, when you get it, or, or if you have it, you feel it, it is really hard. It is not like a paper towel or toilet paper um, tube at all, it's very, very solid, so it should hold up. So, I've given you everything. I've given you um, pipe cleaners, and when you get this right away, I'll just tell you that you are going to link these pipe cleaners together, just twist each end, and it's gonna end up like three feet long. You're gonna do that. Um, and when you're done doing that, the instructions will show you, you're going to take it and wrap it around Mm, something round, like, um, well, you can put it around like a ruler or something just to get that shape or a broomstick handle or just anything that will just kind of twist it up because you are going to put that all twisted up inside here, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you're going to have two little circles, and we're doing things to make it kind of look authentic, okay? Just silly little um, things. One of the things that's really fun is if you scrunch up this paper, get it all wrinkly and everything, and if you and then cut these circles out and you're gonna glue them. I provided glue, glue stick. Glue them on top. That's just gonna cover it to make it look more authentic. Okay, and you can see on here how wrinkly it is. It just makes it look unique. So you are going to cover both ends with that. Then you have that glued on. What you're gonna start with is, um, you have this little wrinkly thing, so you've got your ends already. You have, this is gonna be all wrinkly. And if you have too much of it, 
um, you know, trim it to trim it to size if you need to, but hopefully it's going to fit just about right. And you are going to wrap it around here, that big long piece, and glue it. Um, if the glue doesn't stick, make sure that you give it time to dry, but you can also um, reinforce it with tape. Then, once you have that, you are going to take one of these that already has the brown on it and glue it to the top. Okay, so it's going to look like that. All right, I actually, it looks like I had some extra tape on there too. Just wanted to make sure it was secure because of the beads inside. Then once you have that and one side is covered, you are, because you're gonna have all three of these attached, you're gonna have wrapped them around something to, um, um, to uh, you know, make it go around because you want to be able to put it in here. And then once it's in here, just take the, the one end of it and um, the one end, like this is the end, tape it. I didn't provide tape, but tape it. It just helps it kind of stay in place. Just tape it like right there on the inside to just hold it in place. And actually, if you, if you end up putting those in first without the any of the cover, you know, um, you can tape it on both ends or just do the one. Uh, okay, so that's going to be in there. You're gonna have both of these done. One could already be on it. Then you are going to um, add beads. That's these little white things, little white beads. So this is covered, add them in there, put the thing on top and glue, okay? Again, all the instructions are there. Then you can take this tweed and you are going to, okay, it's already glued shut. You're gonna wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it around and knot it. And um, I have two long, no, um, left some pieces at the end. Look, I gave you two very long pieces so that you can wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, but you want to leave some extra on the end, okay? Then you are going to knot it up here to keep it in place. Put a little knot, keep it in place. You will add a bead on the bottom on each end, okay? Uh, don't worry about it falling off. It really won't fall off even if you don't have it knotted down there because once you put the bead on, then you're gonna put glue on the end of the feather and put it up into the bead, kind of secure, and it'll be glue in there. And when it dries, it's pretty stuck on there, okay? So that's what you're gonna do. And then it's all festive and decorated and you've got your rain stick. So now let's have some fun with our rain stick. We're gonna put on some music. Now I wanna show you this. This comes from our library, it's called Nature Sounds. And of course, I'm going to, there's a song on here titled, Rain's Sweet Sound. So we're going to try our rain stick with this song. You can also find through our Freegal, F-R-E-E-G-A-L music. You can download songs and there are, for free, I think you get five, week that you can download for free um, or even just listen to, just stream and listen. There are a lot of beautiful nature sounds and very calming music on there as well. So between what we have in the library and what you'll find as a resource on our website, you will have what you need. So with that in mind, everybody, whenever you have your rain stick complete, you can stop here and then turn it back on when, when it's done and we will try them out. So let's do that. Let's see if you can hear it. Okay, it's just starting. It's maybe hard for you to hear. Okay, so you've got some really pretty music going. And if you listen, 
I hear the rain. It is really soothing. So while you have that gentle music in the background, make your own rain. Very calming. There you go. You're just gonna go gently up and down. It feels like this is so calming, but maybe after you've had a crazy day and you feel worked up and you can't calm yourself down, sit down, put on some rain music and play your rain stick. Excellent. You know, I think this would also be good when you're getting ready to go to bed. Sometimes I have a hard time quieting my body. This would help a lot. So, with that, enjoy your rain stick. Very good. You know, there are a lot of sounds that we can hear outside as we take a walk. If you're walking in the rain, you'll hear the rain pitter-patter on roofs or the sidewalk or cars, and it can be calming. You might even hear thunder and lightning. That's kind of, for me, I find it calming as long as I'm safe inside and watching out. I'd like a good storm if it's safe. What are some of the other sounds that you can hear? How about some point you take a listening walk? This book by Paul Showers, I like the last name Showers, especially with doing rain sticks, is about a little girl and when she likes to go out and take walks, she listens for sounds. She probably hears the pitter patter of her dog's paws. I'm just gonna see what kind of sound she hears. Oh, she does. She can hear the click clack of the dog's toenails. The dog's name is Major, the toenails on the sidewalk. She can also hear her father's shoes, clomp, 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 on the sidewalk. She is concentrating on what she can hear. She can hear a lawnmower in the distance. Somebody is cutting the grass. Oh, there she is, jumping through a sprinkler. The sound of water coming out of a sprinkler. Kind of sounds like rain. Oh, the cars whizzing by. You hear the sound of cars on the highways or the roads driving by. Sometimes even a noisy honk. Bells on the bikes. Kids playing ball, bouncing it down the court. Oh. Construction zone, we hear this a lot in the Pittsburgh area, don't we? Lots of construction. Oh, sometimes you just keep walking and make soft sounds, and then she came up to pigeons that go proo, proo, proo. Nice sound of birds. Quacking of ducks, quack, quack. How about geese, honk, honk. She hears the crickets. She hears a woodpecker. Tap, 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 tap. Tapping on the tree. She hears the bees buzzing in the flowers. As she heads back, she thinks about all of the sounds that she hears everywhere, all the time. And you can too, you can take a walk, you can hear the sounds, and you, all you have to do is just be still and listen. Keep your ears open and listen. When you take a walk, listen for those sounds. 
I'm Miss Linda, and this was Tiny Tunes. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next month.